We have some new details about top Habs draft candidate Caden Lindstrom, including a quote that said he would love and believes he would thrive in Montreal, and some good news about his injury history. So we're going to get into all of that, plus some quotes from Uri Slavkovsky saying that he has started to model his game around Austin Matthews and Patrick Let's Kane. There's, there's a lot we got to get into in this episode of Habs Digest. So you're going to want to stick around. But before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys to do this sometimes just to leave a like on the video. Helps us out. Helps out your fellow fans find this great Habs content. We got daily Habs stuff. So hit the like if you want to help support us. Jesse, we're going to start off with Uri Slavkovsky. And uh, these Slav quotes make me happy. And I know they make you happy too because Uri Slavkovsky makes a lot of people happy. He is a, a wonderful player, a wonderful person. And we got some great stuff from Arpen Basu's recent end of season article on The Athletic. And let's open with this. Slavkovsky is learning how to be patient, how to effectively use his body. He's an intense competitor, but he said, I just want to be the best every time and I'm going to work until I finish my goals. I want to be the best. I want to be the best for this team to help this team to be successful. I feel like if you have a team achievement, it also brings your value up. Then the article went on to say how Adam Nicholas was showing Slav clips, sending him different players, doing different stuff, including clips of Patrick Kane, which shows the extent to which Adam Nicholas's vision of Slav isn't just limited by his size. And also even Slav himself, quote, Austin Matthews. I watch him and he's pretty good with his spatial awareness. He uses his back a lot. He's pretty much the same size as me. Better player, but you know, when he when I played him, he said, oh yeah, he did it to me. That can work. Jesse, to hear these quotes, it's amazing to see who Slav is modeling his game after. And also like, how crazy is it that this 19, well now 20 year old guy watches Austin Matthews play and thinks, wow, dang, his spatial awareness is great. How special is that? <laughs> For sure. First things first, let's wish Josh Goss a happy birthday in the comment <laughs> section for our boy here. Always working hard for us. But yeah, no, that's Thank it. You. I got to say, I'm not huge on the Austin Matthews comparison, but it is true. It is true that he's been using that his back a lot more for that puck protection. That was the thing about Slap that we saw this year that was almost trademark of his, right? Just doing such a good job of using that big frame to protect the puck. And as much as I might not like that reference, you want to learn from the best of all the players in the NHL. You know, so that's exactly what he's doing. I love that Adam Nicholas is sending him video of Patrick Kane because, of course, we want to see that one time or that shot more from Slav. So, obviously, Patrick Kane is one of the best people to, to really learn from there, right? Um, you know, so you see Adam Nicholas having a big effect, sending videos. He says he learned a lot from Nick Suzuki this year of just being patient. Just because, like, Nick is so cool, calm, collected, that actually – that actually helped him a lot, really get his game into shape. But I have a question for you, Josh. Like, with Kirby Dog coming back next year, we're starting to hear rumors that, you know, maybe it might make sense to put Kirby Dog and Slav together on a second line with two big boys. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like we got this first line. Like, we need to be building off of that, not taking away from it. But, but what's your thoughts on this? I think there's still time for experimentation, but what I will say is I think it would be a crime to not at least start the season with Slav Suzuki Caulfield. This was straight up one of the best 5v5 lines in the NHL this year. They ranked, I think it was top 10 in total goals 5v5 for any line in the NHL. This is a line that has to stay together as far as I'm concerned, but as the Habs start to get some more talent and they start to get actual bona fide top six guys, I think it's okay to do a bit of experimentation. And Slav is getting to the point now, like, yes, he works well with Suzuki and Caulfield, but we haven't seen him with another line of two very talented players because the Habs just haven't had that kind of caliber of player to put on a line with Slavkovsky except those other top two guys. So I think in the right situation, if you have another really talented winger alongside Kirby Doc, maybe Montreal brings someone in, who knows who it could be. I can see a world where it works because the size of those two together, the playmaking of Kirby Doc, and honestly, even Slav's playmaking, it, it, they could work really well together. Do you think about the same thing or do you think that we just got to keep that top line as long as we can ride it i think we want to keep it for right now just with the young player i don't want to kind of juggle him too much i want him to kind of get a little bit of stability but of course there will be time to kind of visit that but i feel the reason why i feel confident keeping this top line together is because there will be skilled players for kirby doc to play with mm -hmm. such as the addition of player x that we'll get this year <laughs> most likely through a trade you also have to feel like there's Joshua Wa, which he'll definitely get time to play with as well as Alex Newhook, right? So I feel like there's some great options for Kirby Doc going forward. I just, I'm careful for this first line. You know, I really want to see a little bit more for them before kind of doing any sort of more experimentation. Well, who knows what Player X might be? Maybe Player X will come over in a trade. Maybe Player X to play on that wing might come through the draft. And hey, 
Who knows what these lines could be, but one guy that's on a lot of Habs fans' radar is Caden Lindstrom, and just recently, Marco D'Amico was able to sit down for a little bit with Caden Lindstrom and get some answers to some questions, and honestly, these answers, well, they make Caden Lindstrom just feel like even more of a perfect fit. Enter Caden Lindstrom, quote, My best qualities are my goal-scoring ability, physical play, and high competitive level. I like to drive the net and use my size to cause havoc in the danger areas. He said he really, truly loves to use his size. 27 goals, 19 assists, and just 32 games in the WHL. He's a big, big guy. He's not specifically a goal scorer, but he's a big power forward. But he said, I want to show more of my playmaking. During this season, Andrew Basha was the playmaker and I was the finisher and it worked well. But I think I can also be effective setting up plays as well. And that's what I want to show more of. I'd like to start slowing down my game, entering the zone and getting some good looks to make plays. He also said he models his game after Rope Hints. He doesn't mind lining up at center or on the wing. He genuinely loves being physical and he stressed the importance of a strong two-way game. And if you look at his recent numbers 46 points in 32 games, 2 points in 4 playoff games. He was injured a little bit this year, and to quell some of those rumors, he said he is feeling healthy as ever. He's been doing physio, he's been ready to go. But Jesse, the final thing that we gotta talk about that he said, I, I didn't have this in the fun format, we gotta bring it up here. Take a look. He said, talking about the possibility of being drafted by Montreal, I love it. I want to play in an environment like that. The pressure, the excitement, all that is something I would definitely see myself succeeding in and would be an honor to be drafted by them. I made my mind up, Jesse. I don't think I want to hear anything else from anyone else. I feel like Caden Lindstrom is the perfect fit if he's available for Montreal. Injury history, I don't care. If a guy has that kind of attitude towards playing in Montreal and is that aware of his own game, I, I just, I think I want him. Absolutely. The Montreal Canadiens need to go for one of the top three offensive players in this year's draft. And Caden Lindstrom is absolutely one of them, right? And it's so amazing right now that the Montreal Canadiens are building a team of guys just like him that really like to play underneath, you know, the bright lights when it really, when the pressure is on. And Nick Suzuki, he was just asked about these. He said, these are the type of guys that we want. And when he wasn't even asked about Caden Lindstrom, it's amazing to see how these answers are just lining up. And you know that this is very important for the Montreal Canadiens. They want guys who can really handle the pressure, but also want to affect the game, right? It's so funny that Caden Lindstrom answer when he said what he likes the most about playing hockey. Very similar to Slav's answer was that he liked to be on the ice when it really matters the most, when the game's on the line, when there's one goal down. He just wants to contribute. Even if it's not him scoring, he just wants to contribute to that winning play, right? And we know how much that matters, that answer, how big that was for Slav, of somebody who wants to be a difference maker, right? So again, Caden Lindstrom, you know, the power forward, um, a similar game to Slav, and a lot of that same winning type of mentality. We know how well that served us with Slavkovsky, and I'm very interested to see how Caden Lindstrom might benefit us. And I'm seeing a lot of people compare actually Slaff and Lindstrom just on their pedigrees heading into the draft and they could end up being similar players and there's a lot of similarities like you said, Jesse. What are your guys' thoughts in the comments down below? We know how much you love Caden Lindstrom, but if these answers changed your mind at all or maybe if they haven't changed their mind, your mind, has it like just reinforced how good of a pick this guy could be? Anyone that says they would love to play in the environment of the Montreal Canadiens, well, that's a guy I think we would love to have. But that'll do it for this episode of Habs Dive. Just if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate all your guys' support. I'm Josh Goss from my co-host, Jesse Poirier. We'll catch you in the next one.